What's up, guys? It's a girl Ada Igwe, aka I2 Sabi. Today, I will be talking about boarding school chronicles. There was a time I wanted to start a series like this, but you know how it is. Sometimes you're not so consistent with, you know, but I'm bringing it all to you in one video. And if time permits and God permits, I would create more videos like this. Now, if it's the first time you're visiting my YouTube channel or my Facebook page, please, what are you waiting for? Follow me on Facebook and then go to YouTube and subscribe. It's Ada to Sabi on YouTube and on Facebook page. My, my Facebook page is Ada to Sabi. I am an alumni of Federal Women Girls College, Igbuzo. Proud. I am proud to say I was from Ruby House, Red House, the winning team. If you know, your team is the winning team. Please come down to the comment section and defend yourself. For me, oh, during our time, we were the winning team, Red House. Okay, so my first day as a brother, I can never forget. Now, uh, I remember that morning, my mom woke me up like it's time to leave. And then my dad and my mom actually drove me down to Ibuzo down to school that day they've bought my stuff my buckets um sponge mop stick or oh, well the list is long so we shall arrived and then uh, actually i didn't come on the day everybody resumed actually so i came in i was checked in and i was taken to i was taken into um abuja hostel now abuja hostel is a hostel where <laughs> where you have everybody everybody from this from different houses you can have the red house we had only four houses then it was red green blue and yellow so you have everybody mixed together so we call it abuja hostel and um my guardian my guardian was um red house metro and i've forgotten her name but somehow over time it changed to mrs nebolisa my, our red house mistress now the red house matron is different from the mistress okay so mrs nebolisa Formerly Mrs. Ilodibia, now she got married and became Mrs. Ne Mrs. Nebolisa. Yeah, she became my guardian. She was the one holding my money later. But that first year, GSS one, it was Red House Matron. I remember you have to go to her during break. You sign, collect money. Most we collect then ten naira, twenty naira, collect and then go <laughs> go to the talk shop to buy something to eat. Um, my worst experience as a brother, in fact, as a new student, was when I got back from class. That was the first time, first year, JSS one first term, my first time ever in school. I came back from class, as usual, after dining. From class, you go to dining now, like for lunch, and then from there to the hostel for siesta. And I found out that my box was broken. They broke my box and they stole my money. My pocket money was gone. Oh, mercy cry. I wept. <laughs> I wept like a child. My own money was gone. Like, and my pocket money there was not 300 naira. <laughs> 300 naira, so I can't remember. But it was not much. So, and then I had one uncle, Uncle Alex. Shout out to Uncle Alex. If you're watching this video, Uncle Alex, my bestest uncle ever from my dad's side, he was living in Iguzo at that time so i quickly wrote a letter to him through the bosser of the school so he gave but the bosser is his friend so the bosser gave him the letter so he sent me 100 naira you see you will not understand eh you will not understand when i got the 100 naira eh my life was lit i was happy i was excited i started managing my money like i could use 10 naira in two three days like pending when my parents would come visit me for the very first visiting day my favorite food was obviously every brother every every girl that went to federal government girls college Iguzo, you know that our favorite food is usually bread egg and tea on sunday morning but i loved rice rice and stew most times we have rice and stew with fish after classes so you will see that the dining hall is full everybody's eating nobody is forming everybody wants to eat rice so i loved rice i love bread egg and tea those are my favorite food every first saturday of the month we had inspection and then on an, our assembly ground they'll have to announce it's like during principal's assembly hey god mondays and fridays that is when they will announce that there will be inspection actually on friday and when you just announce that okay we're going to be having inspection there will be inspection on saturday but they'll be like oh oh 
we don't have a choice, so we have to go back to the hostel and get to work. Saturday, Saturday inspection days are the worst days of my life. And there's always a senior that is in charge of taking care of, that is always in charge of uh, sharing the duty and making sure the hostel is intact. That's the duty of that prefect. So you get to either sweep or whatever, but I didn't like it because it was really stressful. You get to scrub and then if you are, if God punish you, they can't put you for pit toilets. You go and wash pit toilet, pound sheet. Hey, Jesus! I'm just remembering everything. No, you pound. Now, I had a school mother then. Her name was Essie Kitty Senior. Essie, if you can watch this video, shout out to you. <laughs> You're like my guardian angel. Anyway, then the red house, Essie. Whenever with their sharing duties or whatever, I was kind of protected. See, one day when all the seniors ganged up against us, ganged up against her, and I think they were trying to set her up to see how she would react. So they intentionally took me into the pit toilet to go and wash pit toilet to see what Essie would do. But Essie was calm. Um, she knew what she was doing. See, eh, Matt, tell you now, politics, eh, you don't do, you don't say politics, day. Without politics, you cannot survive. I practically survived. <laughs> but I will know who in the bizarre anyway. That I will never forget. Ah, eh. I don't go forget. <laughs> Scared this. I cried. I was looking at her like, save me. Oh, my. She not save me because she knew that if she had said anything there, they would pounce on her. Anyway, another shout out to my school mother, S.U. Kuti. If you can watch this video, I love you so much. Thank you for always standing up for me. You know what's up. Yeah. And then you see the teachers, um, house mistresses, house whatever, coming around to inspect hostel by hostel. And then on Monday morning, they'll call the winner. Yeah, come to think of it, they never give us any award. Like who won, which other, which, which was the cleanest hostel or something. They just say, oh, Blue House is the winner of the sanitation. And you get everybody shouting, yeah, hungry brothers shouting, yeah, that's all. So right now, as an adult, I keep wondering, why the inspection we could actually just clean our hotel without those whole stress we'll dress up and then we'll clap in the city way clap, 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 clap. welcome to big red house hey, rubbish hey, che, Jesu. anyway that's that for sanitation my first visiting day Kai, i will never forget ha! i remember my mom saying that my head was bigger than my body and she started crying that's when to take me back home. Me, I love you. <laughs> and she was crying and saying, oh, I don't give you food. What is wrong? And then I can remember they don't allow cooked food. They know they allow cooked food. So cooked food was like kind of, if they catch you, they'll send you home. So, oh, mom, my mama, na ninja, the woman give me rice, jello fries. <laughs> I took it into, I went towards the classroom to eat. She was really unhappy. She wanted to take me out of the school. I didn't want to go because I had new friends. I just liked the whole experience. And, um, you know, you just be in the hostel waiting for your name to be called because we have PTA meetings, I think, once every term. So if that's the same thing they coincide with PTA meeting. They will have to do the PTA meeting at the exam, sorry, at the hall, at, what's the name of that hall again? If you can remember, please tell us, that hall that is close to admin, what's the name of that hall, where we have all our events and everything, the big hall. Every every parent will write down their child's name according to their house, red house, blue house, whatever. So you see prefects carrying the, the names, going to call students in the hostel. Remember that my first visiting, that was just waiting. In the middle, I just said, <laughs> oh no! Then my slippers was even bad. I tie her with rope, waiting at the corner. Be a nylon bag. Oh no! Kitty, 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 kitty. I saw my mom. I was so happy. She brought me provisions. I told her they stole my money. She gave me juice. She came with so much. My in fact, when she brought the rice, I was like, hey, mommy, they will, they will send me home. She said, come on, wait. Oh, my mama, my mama, ninja. So that's like our Christmas. We don't joke with it. And then every other visiting day was normal. You just still wait for your name to be called and then go towards the admin session to go see your parents. You see cars everywhere. Everybody carrying bread to the hostel. Everybody. In fact, the next day, you go, they see rice and they throw away with uh, bread. Everywhere will be like, and then 
everybody's cupboard is filled with provisions. You know, someone will be like, how many sets of provisions did you come with? How many sets of provisions did you come with? Oh, my mom brought two sets. Oh, I brought one set. You know, Gary was gold. You know, every kind of Gary to the hostel. Oh, wow. Eh! Shout out to my fellow alumni. If you are an alumna of FGC, it was already past, present, whatever, please drop a comment below and tell us, tell us your experience, tell us those your memorable days as I have mentioned here. And if I made any mistake, please, I stand to be corrected via the comment section, okay? more black man, nightmares, black man to arise. And I heard that. Some years after we left, or two years after we left us, I think they caught black man. I think we were like two sets after us. They caught black man. I don't know how true. If it's true and you're in that set, you witnessed it, please drop a comment below. Scared of black man. You see at night, you just hear, black man, black man, black man. Tiki, 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 tiki. Everybody, get 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 People would injure themselves, jumping from bones. At a point, it became like a norm that once one person just started running, everybody goes, just they too late. Kick, 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 they go. Like, it was... Scary. And our parents always felt that we were just having these mites, meets like um, Lady Koi Koi, uh, Bush Baby, and all that. So they didn't really believe us. But when I heard that black man was actually caught, there were guys that um, come into the hostel at night and trying to try to molest girls. I think they jumped through the fence at the back, whatever. I don't know. And that the black man was caught actually. So if you are um, among the sets, the um, ex students that actually caught black man, please drop a comment below and give us the gist. I beg. I have a friend that went to Federal Women Girls College, Akure, and she said they called their own Mr. Flexer. <laughs> that he comes into the hostel at night and then you try to rub uh, Vaseline on girls, bomb or whatever. I don't care. But I think everybody in school, all these federal schools, we had similar experiences or something. But I'm glad that black man was caught, but it was really our nightmare. And then twice in my years in Igbuzo, I think the whole Hostel got burned twice, blue house, yellow house. At a point, it got burned. Students lost all their valuables, their books, their provisions, whatever. It was a terrible time, too. And I think maybe it was the black man that did that, actually. So those were like my nightmares there. I'll we'll talk about moving on to hunger and interhouse. But they were like, hunger, sakpa, and interhouse had a common. I don't know how to say it. They were in common. Like anytime we're preparing for interhouse, but there's this hunger. I think now um, leaving school, I I suspect that one of the reasons why we there was sakba hunger during interhouse sports when we're preparing for interhouse sports because shortly just after interhouse sports, once interhouse sports are over, we follow our parents home for meet and break. So I guess everybody eats their provision anyhow. And everybody's left without Gary, without, we're left without provisions, we're left with everything, we're just depending on the dining hall food for survival. And you could see that everybody's hungry. Even those that have Gary start hiding their Gary, they tend to be very stingy. Well, there is always hunger and interhouse water. And I think the reason why is the fact that we tend to, we know we are going home for meet and break just after the interhouse spot, so we tend to misuse our, our our resources, our provisions, our pocket money, and then we are always hungry. We're not turning into dining hall vultures, eating beans, eating memory, anything they serve. We're no more, we're no more fillers, we're no more selecting and all that. You know, we had fillers and we had the, but I was in between though. If you feel different, if you know me very well and you feel different, tell me below. But I was not really much of a filler, filler, but I was, you know, with a balance and one kind. You know? I was not a sports person. I was very lazy. Yo. I can't run. I can't jump. Very lazy. But I was a macho. Matchers in the building say something. I was a red ass matcher and I was very good at it. I, was, I really, really, I was. Much. I remember Bama for um Kechi Ochenogo, Esther Dede. we oh well, Esther Dede. Okay, yeah, shall we all matchers anyway, read us matchers. And you know how it is, we always come first, we always carry first, we're always looking dapper, good. In fact, everybody looked forward to the matching ceremony. I was not a sports person, I'm not a sports woman, but I was a matcha social nines. Hey, when we just got into Ibuzo as junior students, GSS1, we used to have social nines at Blue House Square. And then we, you see us hitting the window to to get to get to get to the last fashion night. And there's those uh, fashion fashion show where seniors and all that will wear, they wear their night gowns to do the fashion. Oh my god, Kai, 
is good to go. Shall we all have fun? T T K T K K T K to do T K T K K meeting the windows of the hostel and that's how that's what our fashion um, fashion and the social night looked like. That was all. Somebody will come and sing. Those that have voices and all that. Anyway, we we it evolved. After a while, we still having our social nights at dining halls. You know. The dining hall that's where we have our social nights you see different groups i was in this singing group called doz daughters of zion will sing we'll be doing songs of westlife and all that anyway it evolved and at a point we're having our social social nights at the main hall i don't know what's the name of that hall again no i don't forget if you remember please let us know shall we start having that and we had social night master like a, a teacher in charge of that that actually gets us dj sound and all that so it was really fun. I think our time when we became seniors, SS2 going to SS3, Akbewa Olakpa was our social prefect. And she did quite well. Yeah, she did so well. Yeah. That was, um, that's that for social nights. Science or art. Okay, I was a science student because of my mom. I actually wanted to be in the art class because I had, I didn't pass maths during my GSS3 exams, but my mom came to the guidance and counseling, told them that she wanted me to be in sciences, and that was how I now became, I joined SS1Y from SS1U, I had to go to SS1Y. It was not really easy because I wasn't really, I'm not really a fan of science, but it was something my mom wanted. You know, then, um, growing up, our parents always felt they know what was best for us. Anyway, you don't see me now. I studied microbiology in university, and then see me, I'm a chef, content creator, I'm a creative analyst and all that but this is it this is our life but that was it for me it was art but my mom wanted me to be in the science class leaving school but in school it was kind of sweet and bitter more of like okay you're looking forward to what life holds ahead of you like you've written your work now and then you're thinking okay what does life hold for me blah 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 and all that but then you will still be missing your friends or you know you have friends are in lagos you have friends in asaba you have friends everywhere and then there were no phone numbers phones then so we're just like relying on letters and all that there was no facebook so it was quite a little it was a little sad but then we were still kids we didn't know what life held in stock for each and every one of us especially me I miss boarding school life because then we knew what real friendship was. Nobody, I wouldn't say absolutely, but then your friends were your friends because of who you were, um, you know, not what you were. Even though we had some really very rich, rich kids that could come with way, that was your nature students, yeah? they knew how to come with intimidating kind of provisions then. But then, you know, people get to um, get close to you for your talents your social skills and all that not because if you're rich or this or that so i think then i miss but in school because then friendship was really really genuine and um you just miss that whole carefree life where you are playing you're studying together with a whole lot of girls you are you get to see i can't really place anything in particular but i miss but in school but not so much because I wouldn't want to go back to that kind of place again. Looking back with the whole water scarcity and everything then, I don't miss that. But I miss the friendship, I miss our social nights, I miss the rainfall, the hammer time, trying to bathe cold water by 4 in the morning, 3 a.m. We're trying to bathe with cold water and all that. It's just like a whole lot of memory, good and bad, that you tend to look back to and just smile. Hi yeah, guys, I had so much fun making this video. It was super interesting and it brought back a whole lot of memories. And I hope it did for you too. Now, if you're an alumni of Federal Government Girls College at Buzo or um, any other Federal Government College in Nigeria, please feel free to drop a comment. Tell us your own experience. Tell us your, about your social lines. Tell us about your black man, whatever meet or whatever troubled you guys in school then, if you play the koi koi or the bush baby. Tell us about everything. Also, tell us about your inter-house falls. Tell us the house you were in. Tell us if you were in red house, blue house, whatever house. Tell us about your house masters. Tell us about your worst teacher. Tell us about, just tell us everything you can remember about your life as a brother. And I will be at the comment section, reading your comments and trying to respond to as many as possible. Thank you for watching once again. Um, if this is the first time you're visiting my Facebook page, what are you waiting for? Please hit the follow button and please share this video to everybody on um, to your friends list on Facebook and also 
on YouTube is still uh, it is still Ada to Sabe. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I am Ada Igwe, aka I to Sabe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.